All right, everybody. Today, we're talking about one of our favorite pieces. Juicy, simmering, bright, shiny, ripe pieces of low-hanging fruit. One of my favorite to come back to is a little, as a little unhealthy piece of, a little unhealthy fast food snack, you know, just a little, little unhealthy fast food snack. The quartering. The quartering. For those of you guys that don't know, here's a look at this guy's channel that you cannot see because I have it set to game capture. Um, as you can see, the guy uploads one, two, three, four, five, Five times today alone. Uh, one, two, three, four, four times yesterday. One, two, twice the day before. So the guy really just busts out the uploads, which of course is the YouTube meta. Um, but if you have any experience at all with the quartering, then you will know that uh, he, he's kind of, you know, a grifter that doesn't really believe in anything other than I guess the idea that women are bad and minorities in media are bad, but he probably doesn't really even care that much about it. At the end of the day, he knows what his audience wants, which is a nonstop river of drivel being fed to them. Uh, and I've said this for a while, and I will be proven right to, by this. The Quartering is not the first creator to do what the Quartering does, okay? Um, he's a pathetic worm who just kind of sucks off of the, uh, you know, the, the bottom the bottom filth of, like, culture war talking points. But here's the thing about content creators like that. Who remembers No Bullshit? No Bullshit was both in name, appearance, and content quality and, and, and content genre essentially the same thing as the quartering. He was basically the same as the quartering. And now, well, No Bullshit's channel is dead. And that may sound a little bit crazy for me to, for me to compare the two, but I think No Bullshit had like 800,000 subs. But yeah, No Bullshit hasn't uploaded in like a year. Um, like No Bullshit had like 800,000 subs on YouTube or something like that. I may be overestimating, but... I think that's accurate. Like, a ridiculously large sub-base. And of course, the quartering and no bullshit used to be friends, and they rose up from the sort of ashes of Gamergate, so to say. With that said, though, uh, the quartering is still kicking, despite the fact that the reality will one day hit him that nobody that watches his content watches it for him. Th this is the video in question, like, like sort of is involved with what we're talking about in a minute. I'm just giving you guys background. But, like, do you think this guy has the charisma or any of the things that make somebody attractive as a human being to sort of be a fan of? Do you, do you think this guy has, like, parasocially connected fans? Does this guy... Like, let me play a clip for you. Got out of bed to make this video. My most important video that I've literally ever made on this channel. <clears throat> I'm tired. I've been working 14 hours a day. So obviously there is nothing about this guy that is that anybody would want to actually associate with to, to be a fan of. I'm sure he has actual fans, but in reality, if we're going to use our brains here for a moment, this guy just knows how to play the algorithm. The guy just knows how to upload a constant enough stream of content that you will never not have his videos in your recommended should you be subscribed to him or watch one of his videos and leave a like or whatever, right? Amazon fires all male directors from Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power. All men fired! Uh, amazing. Oh, look! They did do a, uh, he did do a video about the Henry Cavill, uh, SJW misogyny allegations. I expected that. Anyway, with that said, the dude's a fucking loser. No one really watches him for him. They watch him to have their opinions validated. And believe me, the opinions that are being validated by the Quarterings videos are not... They're very fragile. They're very, very fragile. Have you ever debated a right-wing teenager on the internet? In all seriousness. Have you ever, like, been online and ended up, for some reason, debating a right-wing teenager? And just seeing how goddamn confident they are that they are 100,000% correct. They have found the truth and you are, I'm going to say the arsler here because this is what they believe, that you are a retard for not agreeing with them. That, that, is, that is 
pretty much the sentiment that comes across when you argue with, like, your average right-wing teenager. However, when you do argue with them, it's generally, if you know how to argue, pretty easy to destroy everything they believe and, you know, have them probably reconsider everything they believe in in private, like, well after the fact. And the quartering, or I guess I should say the ideology the quartering pushes and the quartering's fans are very much in that position. The average quartering fan would not be able to withstand any intellectual rigor being applied to their worldview. They have basically formed a ideological narrative centered around a culture war. For those of you guys that don't know, the culture war is basically this non-stop back and forth between the right and the left online for the most part. Now, to make to, to describe it a bit more accurately, what it really is is like someone who's like a minority that the left believes is valid and deserves should have right or believes should des like deserves rights will do something that can be framed as bad at the very least and then it will be like dunked on in mass by massive right-wing media demagogues funded by billionaires and then the left will be thrust into a situation where it has to respond or the right gets to run away with the cultural narrative and basically establish the left bad for this reason as a new cultural meme on the internet, right? With that said, though, the people watching this stuff and the quartering himself, they basically live and die by this magical culture war concept. And I've been saying this for a while. So with that said, let's go ahead and read these tweets from the quartering that came out last night. For those of you guys that don't know, Elon Musk, the new owner of Twitter, or right-wing billionaire troll... Uh, and dumbass that that people are very quickly starting to, starting to realize oh wait this guy is not the real life iron man he's actually just a spoiled rich man child who inherited all of his money from apartheid emerald mines in south africa with that said uh he announced that he was going to be doing a poll he did a poll saying all right do you want me to step down as ceo and hand off the position to someone else yes or no yes uh, very quickly overtakes no in the poll and uh, has held the uh, majority vote, obviously, because everybody is, as I predicted, quickly realizing Elon Musk sucks shit. And now the quartering. Oh, wait, hold on. I should I should inter I should add one last thing. The quartering's logo is uh, plagiarized. The quartering stole his logo, like just ripped the design for the logo and, and slightly modified it from a uh, barbershop. This is the Orlando Estillo Barbershop logo. This is the Quarterings logo. Down to the amount of points on the beard, it is the same. The only difference is the uh, hair has been lowered a bit to be closer to where the beard begins. This one is taller, and this one's slightly shorter. But he just straight up ripped the logo. Just straight up ripped the logo. Yeah, mostly irrelevant. Just wanted to show you that because, you know, the, the quartering is a, a massive uh, grifter and just in it for the money. And he, he will admit it in his videos, but for some reason his fans, fans take it as a joke and think he's being ironic. With that said, though, let's look at these tweets. Uh, the quartering decides to reply to Elon Musk uh, posting that poll with possibly the most hilarious imaginable series of tweets you have ever seen. You know how we talk about how Elon Musk has like a cult of dick riders if you think that illustration of his fan base is over the top overzealous or uh, exaggerated i want to remind you this is a real guy with over a million subs on youtube where is libs of tiktok during the most important poll in youtube history vote no for elon musk to step down as ceo if I could just get three minutes on the phone with Elon Musk, I could convince him to stay a little longer. Please share the above video. We cannot lose this vote. This is him replying to Mr. Beast, the biggest YouTuber uh, ever on the platform, by the way. Jimmy, please DM me. I can explain. He already reversed course, and this is the most important poll in history. We need to keep Elon as CEO. This is uh, uh, the quartering replying to Mr. Beast, actually criticizing Elon for his horrible, potentially, like, f for many content creators, career-killing decision to um, ban 
creators who share certain links, right? So a lot of like artists, YouTubers, streamers, uh, just anyone who's a content creator online that's on Twitter uh, was unanimously against this. Even Mr. Beast for once stopped riding Elon Musk's dick and criticized him. And and then the quartering's like, Jimmy, please DM me. I can explain. I can explain. I can, I can defend him in DMs. I can explain. He already reversed course, and this is the most important poll in history. In history. The most important poll in history. And he means that, by the way. He, he meant that when he said it. That's not like, like an, him exaggerating, by the way. He continues to double down. We need to keep Elon as CEO. I'm about to screw up my entire week by uploading a video in the middle of the night in regards to at Elon Musk stepping down as CEO. He doesn't owe me anything, but if I don't try to sway the vote, I can't show how much I care. Who needs money anyway? Bro, the dick riding, dude. The dick riding is insane. The dick riding is insane. And you can think like, oh, who cares about this guy? This isn't even, but like these, these tweets are getting hundreds of likes at the very least. So like there are still people who are so desperately, pathetically like obsessed with Elon that they're liking these tweets. It's wild to me. This is one of my favorites. If you're a fellow content creator who cares about the culture war, if you care about free speech and don't and you don't make a video immediately imploring your viewers to vote no on Elon Musk's poll to step down as Twitter CEO. I don't ever want to hear you complain again. This matters. God, dude, look. As I said, by the way, these people legitimately live in a world in which the biggest threat to human civilization is the woke SJWs destroying free speech. They, they genuinely see the culture war and the oppression of white male gamers as like the forefront of like the war that they think they're fighting a civil rights movement the quarterings fans think they are fighting in a civil rights movement against the woke mob that wants to censor and oppress them for being white male gamers unironically that is the world these people live in Seriously, Elon Musk, you're screwing us by letting this poll end at 4 a.m. U.S. time. Oh, this is great. This is actually great. When the when the when Trump was uh, uh, when Biden was winning the election uh, or, or when when Trump was winning the election briefly right before uh, uh, Biden pulled ahead, they were like, stop the vote. Stop the count. Stop the vote. Stop the count. Don't count all the votes. Don't count all, count all the votes. But now that uh, uh, a vote isn't going their way early on they're like extend the vote extend the vote extend the vote Th these people do not care about democracy they care about winning and they will bend break and honestly bulldoze the rules wherever necessary to ensure they win they don't care about playing a fair fight Th their their ideology is based around winning by any means necessary no matter how immoral you have to be to do so and what they want what they would do upon winning is also objectively bad and moral behavior. Anyway, seriously, Elon Musk, you're screwing us by letting this poll end at 4 a.m. U.S. time. I mean, I know you always plan to pass off leadership on Twitter, but this is too soon. I'm literally getting out of bed to shoot a video to mobilize people, but we don't have enough time. Please, Elon Musk, this is so important. Extend your poll. You're not giving, you're not even giving us a chance to create content to appeal to folks. This poll ends at 4 a.m. in the United States. You must restart this poll, man. Seriously. I'm leaving Ben to create a video, but give us time. <laughs> Bro, this guy has, ha, is lost, man. This guy's got Elon's dick so far up his ass it's not even like healthy it's not even healthy it, like it, it's tearing the intestinal lining and elon's not that big so that goes to show you how far you know like he, he's uh, he's gaping wait hold on let me let me illustrate for you what is happening right now what you are seeing you are seeing the tweet version of this i want you to ima to watch this video but imagine shrek is elon okay this is the quartering right now I was only nine years old. Oh wait, nah, never mind. <laughs> never mind.
<laughs> ne ne never mind. <laughs> you all know. You all know. You all know the fucking meme. You all know the Shrek is love, Shrek is life meme. Anyway, uh, for for all intents and purposes, this is uh the quartering, spreading his ass cheeks for Elon and saying Musk is love, Musk is life. <laughs> Bro, no, Zed, why? Have I have I reignited childhood trauma for many of you in chat? Honestly, same. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like, subscribe, comment down below. All these things both help my channel a lot and ensure that YouTube will actually tell you when I go live or upload a new video. Um, and guess what? It makes conservatives mad. When lefty content creators... Uh, achieve even a fraction of the success on YouTube in the algorithm as right-wingers do with ease, it actually upsets them quite a bit. So consider dropping a like or a sub or one of those things. It actually helps out a lot. I really do appreciate it. And of course, you can um, follow my social medias, link down below in the description, including my Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Fan Discord, and my Patreon, as well as my merch store, where you can buy some Xander Hall merch. Speaking of, you can also, if you've got the money for it and don't need it for anything else, donate, subscribe, or gift a sub on my website, xanderhall.com forward slash live, to help me save money for my move, as well as to gain access to the Xander Hall 12 Days of Christmas Minecraft server, which I'll be getting on in just a little bit. Um, but yeah. Oh! Also, make sure to share the channel with your friends, as I am trying to hit 80,000 subs by the end of the year if we can manage it. And uh, we're just over 2,000 subs away. I think we can, if we really push, I think we can hit 80,000 subs by the end of the year. That would be pretty fucking awesome. But anyway, regardless of how you support me, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching, and have a good one.